Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a huge winter haul. And if you don't know this, I'm obsessed with books. I love reading. I don't know why I didn't really read sooner, but I'm definitely just glad and grateful that I'm into it now. Basically, all I spend my money on is books, food, and lip balm. Um, so yeah, I probably place way too Amazon order, too many Amazon orders than I should be. And I order way too many books, but I think that books have some beautiful stories and yeah, so I'm going to be filming a winter haul. A uh, majority is uh, YA. Yeah, a majority of my books that I'm going to be showing are young adult. So if you're into that, then just keep watching. So first, I got everything, everything. I got it in hardcover and... Yeah, uh, I'm super excited to read this book. At first, I was not interested because the movie trailer, I was just like, yeah, I'm not, not, I'm not really into this. But then I started watching videos. A lot of people were mentioning it. And what really got me into it was I'm very much into stuff like this. Hold on, I'm trying to find it. Just like stuff like this. Like, I'm into things that kind of aren't just print. Like, I like to have a little, like, little fun graphs and stuff like that in books so this is why I picked it up um, and I'm super excited to start Jean by Jenny Han. This is part of the To All the Boys I Love Loved Before trilogy. I read the first two books so I decided to get the second one and this one is in hardcover. Thirdly, I actually got this for my birthday which was a long time ago but my brother actually got me this and this is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. If you don't know, I'm the biggest fan of Harry Potter. I'm wearing a Gryffindor shirt right now. I am actually not really a Gryffindor. I'm a mi I'm actually a mix of like all four houses, I feel like. But yeah, this is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And I'm so excited to read this. But I heard that it's very uncharacteristic of the other books. But it's still Harry Potter. So you can bet that I'm still going to read this. Um, I'm actually a little bit concerned about the price of this book though. It's $30, which is super expensive, but oh well. Okay, next I got Alex Approximately. This one's also in hardcover, and this is be basically a retelling of You've Got Mail, except I've never really read that or watched it if it's a movie or a book. That's just what I've been hearing from other people. I decided to get this book because beachy vibes, I live for that. I love beachy vibes in books and it seems like a super chill summer read so I will probably start reading this when the summer comes and when I have more time. So yeah, I also heard the writing in this is super chatty which is something that I appreciate because it's relatable. Next, I got The Sun is Also a Star. My brother also got me this for my birthday, and I think that this is going to be a phenomenal book. I heard the writing is beautiful, and it just, it's something that I genuinely really want to read, and just reading the summary just gave me chills. It just seems like such an important book to read, so I'm really excited. Next, I got The Inexplicable Logic of My Life by Benjamin Allaire Seans. I hope I'm saying that right. He's actually my favorite author on the planet. Uh, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe is my favorite book ever. And he just, the author just has a really, really, really special way of tying in life lessons and really making you appreciate living. And I'm gonna start... Okay, I'm like crying. Okay, anyways, I basically was crying as I read this book. I'm crying right I'm crying right now. But um yeah, Aristotle and Dante, I cried the whole plane ride and yeah, it's he just he just writes really <laughs> I can't, I can't stop crying. Okay. Anyways, he just writes really beautiful books and every book I'm just crying. I he really just he has something in his books that really just makes you appreciate just appreciate living and life and how beautiful but fragile and how emotional everything is and yeah I'm just I'm super emotional I want to say that this year I've been so emotional and I think that it's in part because of this author um yeah 
so I read this book I loved it anyways so this is the book I'm currently reading uh, I recently just ordered this off Amazon because I wanted a nice winter a book to read over winter break last year over winter break I read um, like the 12 holiday stories edited by Stephanie Perkins and this year I'm reading this book I will say that it's a little lackluster I'm about halfway done a little more than halfway done and I feel like this book is just so uneventful which I don't understand because it has the best setting it's literally the setting is literally New York City the most exciting city ever and it's occurring in the Strand and it's literally a book of dares I don't understand why but yeah I'm a little underwhelmed by this book of course I'm not finished but it's I don't know it's just it's very average I will probably finish it just because it's an easy read and it is a little entertaining but I'm just underwhelmed and if I were to rate this book I'd probably give it like 2.5 to 3 stars I would probably just do 3 because I don't ever give out 2 stars I just I don't know I don't want to do that to an author but yeah it's just average so yeah that was my whole entire winter book haul I hope you guys enjoyed and uh hopefully i will haul some more books soon and yeah i hope you guys have an awesome day and i will talk to you guys next time bye